I'm Peyton Nelson. And I'm Val Sonato. So, uh, let's hop into the calendar for this upcoming week of the uh, new year. Okay, so we're going to take it back to, since we haven't had the show for a while, on January 2nd it was Trajan Flea's birthday and Jocelyn Wagner's birthday, so happy birthday to them. Uh, Thursday, the girls basketball team went to Northwestern and won by 20, by 20 points, I believe, and it was also Harley Nel uh, Nielsen's birthday that day. Um, and then on the fourth, we had it, school was in session. Um, there was boys basketball versus Falkton here in Tulare, and they lost. And it was Caitlin Woodward and Mr. Otto's birthday. Uh, Saturday, uh, the junior high girls basketball team and boys basketball team went up to Woolsey for a tournament, I believe. I believe the boys won the tournament, yep. and the girls, they mm -hmm. did pretty good as well. <laughs> um, on the 7th, we had junior high boys basketball at Willow Lake, and I think they lost by two. They did. Um, uh, yesterday, Tuesday, uh, the girls and boys basketball team traveled up to Warner. Um, both teams... Uh, Came up with losses, but both teams fought pretty hard in the games. So, and today on the ninth, we have state FFA degree interviews in Falkton and Josiah Weeby's birthday. And Grant Hamilton and Ty Hope went up to the state FFA degrees. And Dawson Gam. Dawson Gam is safe. Oh. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday or Thursday, the tenth, junior high girls basketball and boys basketball versus Weston Springs at Tulare. And on the 11th, the ACT test registration for February 9th is due that day. There is enhancement. And the 281 Girls 281 tournament starts in Wolsey versus Sandbar or <laughs> Sunshine Bible Academy. And it's Jackson Maynard's birthday. Uh, Saturday, the 12th, uh, junior high girls basketball goes up to Northwestern. And the boys 281 conference tournament begins at Wolsey. Uh, the boys are the eighth seed and they're taking on number one. I'm more Harold. And the girls are also number three seed. Forgot to mention that. Um, on the 13th is Addie Eman's birthday. And then on the 14th, we have the 281 conference continues. And that'll be in Huron. And we'll find out Saturday who the girls play on Monday. And there's also a school, school board meeting. Uh, Tuesday, the 15th, uh, boys basketball 281 tournament continues. We won't know what the boys are going to be playing, but we'll find out after the first round. On the 16th, we have Cody Anderson's birthday. Uh, and Thursday the 17th, uh, girls basketball 2 year one tourney at Huron continues, and the boys basketball 2 year one tournament continues as well. Uh, now we're going to jump into our elementary interviews. Hi, my name is Dawson Otto, and I'm here with Jaylee. Hi, Jaylee. Hi. What grade are you in? Kindergarten. What is your favorite thing to do at recess? Play with my friends. Uh, what are you learning in kindergarten? How to read. Um, what was your favorite Christmas gift? LOLs. Wow, sounds wonderful. Back to Trajan. Hi, I'm Trajan Flea, and I'm here at Town. So, Town, what are you learning in school? Math and stuff. Ooh, what grade are you in? Second. Nice. Um, what do you do out at recess? Like play games and build snow forts. Oh, that sounds fun. Um, so what was your favorite Christmas present? A lock box and the bigger box with it. Oh, what does that do? Like I can put my money in it. Nice. To Peyton. Hi, this is Peyton Nelson. I'm here with Reagan. Hi, Reagan. Hi. What are grades you in? Uh, fifth. What are you doing in there right now? I'm um, learning math. What do, you, what do you like to do at recess? Um, just outside, just playing outside at recess. Did you enjoy your Christmas break? Yeah. What did you uh, get for Christmas? What was your favorite gift you got? My baby sister. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for those interviews with the elementary students. So now let's uh, jump in uh, with Kobe as he updates us on all the sports that have been going on. Hello, this is Kobe with the Hitchcock Tuller Sports News. So the boys played Miller, and they lost 34 to 40, and the leading scorer was Grant Hamilton. Next, the girls played Northwestern. They won 67 to 47, and Dawson Otto and Danon Peterson with the, were the leading scorers with 20 points. 
Next, the boys played Falton. They lost 52-30. to The leading scorer of that game was Ty Hofer with 13 points. Next, the girls played Warner, and they lost 35-59. to Elizabeth Solomon was the leading scorer with 15 points. The boys also played Warner that night, and they lost 18-52. to The leading scorer was Kyle Hamilton with 4 points. And thank you. Back to you. Thank you, Kobe, for those updates. So uh, this past week, Danielle Noel traveled up to Rapid City for a, a pageant, and we interviewed her about it, and she told us what it was like, what she did, and what she, uh, what she enjoyed about it. So over the paint. Hi, this is Peyton Ellis. I'm here with Danielle Noel. So, Danielle, you took part in a pageant in Rapid City. Uh, tell me what that was. Well, um, basically I went up to Rapid City and we did a pageant up there and you get like a local title and from there you move on to the state contest. So since I've got a title, I'll be going sometime in May and that'll be a competition for the Miss South Dakota's Outstanding Teen competition. So yeah, we had a day and a half of rehearsal and then the pageant Saturday night. Uh, what exactly did you uh, do down there? Like, what kind of activities did you have to take part in for this pageant? Well, um, you had to take an interview with the judges, which is kind of nerve-wracking. And then you also, for the pageant, it's kind of like a show. So there are a couple dance numbers you had to learn. And then your own talent. And then they ask you an on-stage question from your interview that you have to answer in front of everybody. So it's kind of, it was fun. So I'm guessing you enjoyed it then doing the pageant. Uh, did you uh, win anything at the pageant, get any awards? Well, I didn't get any awards, but I won the title itself, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, what was your talent? Um, well, I did Tin Man by Miranda Lambert. Mm -hmm. well, nice, nice. Well, thank you, Danielle. Thank you for that interview. Looks like that wraps up uh, this week's edition of HGTV. And remember to be awesome. Not average. average. <laughs>